Welcome to NYC Jewelry Week 2022. I'm JB Jones. And I'm Bella Naiman. And we are so excited to welcome you to our 2022 virtual program here on our official YouTube page. And we invite you to head to our website at nycjewelryweek.com to check out all the other amazing programs we have in store for you this year, both in person and virtually. And now I'm going to let Bella introduce what's coming up next. So we're really excited about these upcoming programs. As New York City Jewelry Week, we welcome the participation of all of the international jewelry weeks around the world. These next three programs, Romanian Jewelry Week, South African Jewelry Week, and Seat Gallery, who is based in Seoul, Korea, are just another way for us to show that there is incredible programming and incredible art artisanship and artists and jewelers working all across the world. And as a community, we're so excited to have them here participate in New York City Jewelry Week. So you're in for a real treat, and we hope that one day you get to go to Korea, Romania, or South Africa to check out their programs. So enjoy, and if you have any questions for any of these uh, participants, please feel free to drop them in the chat, and we will make sure that they get them. Thanks so much. Let's go next year. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> to see all these uh, artists uh, presenting their works, uh, presenting, promoting the originality of their uh, designs, the use of uh, modern materials. Uh, it's a great experience.
chips. Da ti do di do chi bo chi bo bo. Da ti do di do chi bo chi bo bo. Da ti do di do.
countless phenomena in our history is the traceability blindness we tend to use in most aspects of our lives. Cacao, an offering given by the gods, as the Aztecs believed, metamorphosis into the world's most enjoyable sweet, chocolate. The cacao farmers, however, have a different perspective. To be surrounded by cacao beans and never knowing the taste of chocolate, what you find as pleasure is also a struggle for the cacao farmers. Feet dragging through the dirt, scorching sun, harsh working conditions, living in extreme poverty represents normality for them. You may choose to look the other way, but you can never say again that you did not know. We are born free, but we always seem to find ourselves in chains, either chains of our own making or those of others. And here, the bitter sweet cell closes.